Camp here will go from the gun for the first time, looking left the entire way, and he has Darius Barber. And Darius Barber has a first down out across the 40-yard line. Barber's 49th catch of the season. Aaron Magger goes in motion to the top side. Dampier with pressure. And Dampier going down in the backfield. He is brought down by Aaron Ron, his first sack of the season. But that play was made by Alex Hinojosa, who came firing off the right side of the line. Looks like Ryan Fish will await the return. He averaged nearly 13 yards per game. And Edwards with an absolute shank. We'll see where they mark the ball off, but that is a really, really bad miss there for Edwards, a 12-yard punt. Get you the Georgetown starters after this play. Morrison wants a shot down the field. He has Donovan Johnson out there. Donovan Johnson has a touchdown on the first play of, from scrimmage as Johnson beat the Georgetown defender Zion Bethel to the post, and Morrison hit him right in stride, and Donovan Johnson has the longest play of the season for Concordia on their first play of the game today. As Luke Wilson, the tight end, moves to the near side. White on a stunt inside, out wide. Wilson has it right at the sticks. I think it'll be a first down. Morrison down the seam. Wilson is there. He's cut down at midfield as they use the play fake, and Wilson went uncovered down the left side of the line. Zion Bethel cuts him down. At the Georgetown 49, here they go again. Morrison on the play fake. Roxfag chasing to the, out to the far side. That is caught by Donovan Johnson. And right now, Concordia has Georgetown's defense all out of sorts on fourth and one. Edmund gets the carry and should have the first down just shy of the 25-yard line. Wilson in the top side slot. Morrison looking out that way. Wilson has it, another first down. Simple out route, and Morrison hits Wilson right in stride and rush down. Three receivers to the left. Morrison rolling out the entire way. They want the throw back there, and that is brought in for the touchdown. They threw it back to Luke Wilson. White read it initially for Georgetown and then did not go out there with Wilson, and this Concordia offense is doing anything it wants right now against Georgetown for Georgetown. Dampier on the play fake. Nowhere to go with it, and what a catch on the near side by T.J. Wettstein for the Tigers. To the far side, back shoulder throw. Will Thomas has it for the first down, his 11th catch of the season. First today as Arrington was playing off in coverage as Maggard comes in motion. Dampier out to the right side, wants that back shoulder throw. It is broken up by Gerald McHenry as Thomas tried to bring that in. McHenry just stuck an arm out ball back. Dampier rolling up the throw back to the right side. That ball is there, but it is short of the line to gain as they go heavy up front. Morrison will try the sneak. It will depend on the spot. I think he got it. The far side linesman coming in. Brown in the backfield. He'll be blocking for Morrison. Morrison down the seam. Wide open is Ahmad Clay right at the sticks as Bethel was playing Soft on the coverage. Smith comes in motion. Pressure this time into the middle. Johnson has it again. Georgetown needs to start getting Zion Bethel some help. Bryce Bowen moves back to safety. Third down and seven as Morrison looks. Over the middle, Wilson has it. He will be stood up by Peyton Standifer. Two yards shy of the first down on the season. Gomez from 44. Blocked away on the near side. And that will be swallowed up at the 31-yard line as Rob Sheffield, first team all Mid-South, comes in from the right side and hammers that one down for Georgetown. That ball is blocked. Ball straight up into the air, and that is caught on the near sideline by James Carpenter, and he is inside the 20-yard line on this series. And he'll get the ball here on second. And wide open. Down the right sideline, and Dorian Edmond inside the five-yard line. Play comes in motion. They'll play fake here, and Morrison to the end zone. Wide open is Nolan Smith, and this is still all Concordia, and it's getting away from Georgetown in a hurry as no one covered Nolan Smith. The 47-yard line to keep the drive moving as Wilson comes in motion. 
And out there, he'll have it at the 50-yard line for a first down as Sheffield was late to react. Similar type of play to what they ran on a third and 11 situation deep in their own territory in the first half. Left side in the backfield. Edmond straight at the middle, little dancing and juking and jiving. It'll be enough, though, for a first down, no matter how you draw it up. Okay, second and 10. Brown up the middle, and Kevante Brown inside the 25 to the 24. Fourth and nine. Brown splits out to the near side, a diamond stack to the near side. Morrison wants the top side. Johnson's out there on the double move, pulled it in, but out of bounds. He had beaten Sheffield to the pylon, but could not keep his feet in bounds, so Georgetown does get the ball back on turnovers. We'll see if he challenges here from the gun on second and four. To the far side, beautiful ball, and Tamir Jones has it. On a play Georgetown badly needed. Wettstein in motion. Krause with pressure. Krause trying to move forward. Hunter Krause has space. He has the first down all the way down to the 20-yard line. Down to the Concordia 21. Krause again. Play fakes to Maggard. Pressure coming. Aaron Maggard will catch it out wide. Spins away from one. Aaron Maggard inside the 15. Out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Caught it, put his right cleat in the ground, and just undressed. Got to put it in the end zone. Toss out wide, and Conley never had a chance. Ryan Fish had it read dead to rights the entire way, and Georgetown's best offensive drive of the game comes up with nothing. Brown to the right side of Morrison, and on the option pitch, Brown will have it, he'll have the first down, and then some inside the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 32-yard line. They'll move it up ahead now, give him the 31. Tigers right now, you, you need a defensive touchdown, really, from here. Morrison stepping up. Sander Roxvag is going to get him and fall forward to the 30-yard line, so it'll technically count as a one-yard rush. Seven yards from the left hash. That ball might have been tipped at the line and is short. In motion to the top side. Tamir Jones near side, and that is incomplete. Interference will be called against Gerald McHenry. Is Dampier rolling out this side here, and a flag comes in in the secondary. Two flags come in. In fact, the line judge on the near side threw his flag and actually hit Connor Long in the live. Dampier will sneak it himself. He'll have a first down across the 35. They'll look to avoid that here just to try to get something on the board. Dampier down the left sideline. Jones out there. Another underthrown ball, and it's incomplete. Now a late flag comes in from the line judge. Wow. They will call it on McHenry, and I'm very surprised at that. Dampier, line drive this time. Jones, did he get a foot down? Yes, he did. Georgetown does indeed and void. Avoid the shutout. Playoffs, Georgetown season will end here at 6-2. And, and one final kneel down there, and that is going to do it.